yes good morning today we are going to discuss the concept of net viewer so what is net viewer why net viewer what are the different versions of net viewer what is the importance of net viewer in a cp system what are the latest releases of net viewer okay all this we are going to see on today's topic so what is net viewer net viewer is a platform that supports various app applications like ERP software, CRM software, EP software, PI software, portals, PO, everything is supported by NetViewer only. Okay. For analytics and integration, we use BW, PI, and portal. Now, NW runs on both, like ABAM also, you can use. Uh, NetViewer and for Java also we use NetViewer. Okay. For Java nowadays, if you solution, if you see, for example, if you use Solution Manager, if you see Solution Manager seven point one, it is ABAM and Java combinedly. Now seven point two Java, if you see, it, 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 they have got two stacks. Like Java is different stack, and ABAM is different stacks for that. NetViewer as is a solution menu version. Okay. And NetViewer has its own release strategy, like NetViewer has 7.0, 7.0 ESP1, and 7.3, 7.31, 7.4, 7.5. Like this, they have got different different versions. Now they are at 7.5 version. Okay. NetViewer 7.1 was released by release for PW, PI, PW and portal. PI means what? PI is process integration. PI is now no more PI. PI is O. Oh, PI is for Java and ABAP, but now they come up with the solutions in PO. PO means process orchestration. It's purely Java based system. Okay which works as a mediator for ABAP systems and for Java systems or ABAP to ABAP systems or Java to Java systems. It uses the interfaces to transfer data. It's taking data in inbound. We are taking uh, data inbound from any of the server like SRM anything, and it, sell, uh, it sends data into outbound to ECC inbound. Okay, now you see what is outbound, what is inbound. Inbound means to receive something, outbound means to send something. Like what PO does, PO receives in inbound form from SRM, the interfaces, and save there. And in output, in outbound, it sends data to ECC. But the ECC is inbound, PO is outbound again here. We have to see that, okay. Now PO is working, seeing all, take care of all those things. Now see what are the NetViewer release we have. For NetViewer systems, we have ESP1 for NetViewer 7.0, which is called as SAP 7.0.1. We have ESP2 for NetViewer 7.0. We call this as 7.2. We have ESP3 for NetViewer 7.0. Okay, we call it as SAP basis 7.31. These are the basis releases 701, 702, 731. Now you can see 740, 750 also came into the market. Which, okay. And for EIP systems, we see how to find which EIP systems you're using. Like if it is. In component, if it shows SAP APPL 601, it means ESP1. If it shows SAP APPL 602, it's ESP2. If it shows SAP underscore APPL 603, then it is ESP3. Like that, you can find ESP versions. Okay, these are the, this is a component, SAP is a component, and SAP APPL also a component in a native system. If you see this component in your system, then you can see we are using we are using uh, ESP1, okay? See ESP1 for 6.0 and here ESP1 for network 
both us it, 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 it has got app well app well 601 chp1 and it has got sap base 701 both are the both works are combinedly if you want more practice you have to read some contents from websites to know things things more precisely now coming to ehp7 from erp the changes the naming convention to ecc okay the ecc 7.0 and this is sap underscore appl 617 Now you will see the history of NetViewer history. Okay, in 2001, we introduced WebAS technology. Who SAP introduced WebAS technology? Previous before 2001, there was no web interface for SAP. Only ABAP system for them. In 2001, they have come up with the solutions called WebAS technology. In 2001, then 2002. SAP at the enterprise 4.7 as web as what is web as web as means web application server 6.0 was released in 2002 it means now people can able to log into the java from a web only they can able to log into the system through web portal web urls okay in 2003 is called my sap erp 2003 is web as 6.20 is web as 6.20 in 2004 what sap does they come up with the my sap erp 2004 on web as 6.40 which is netweaver 2004 now they change the name from web as to netweaver and they release in the year 2004 that's why they gave the name as 2004 Which is now released on 31st March 2004. Okay, this will be the interview question. When was the first Netweaver release was released? When was the name of the change from Netweaver to Netweaver? Then you can say that 31st of March 2004, because they follow the year convention 2004 Netweaver. Okay, in 2005 they come up with my ERP 2005. Okay, and WebS 7.0. We were sent for zero on Netweaver 2004s. The previously they were they called it a Netweaver 2004. Now they call it a 2004s. Okay, which Netweaver based or released on this this version released on October 24th 2005. They released the first version of the Netweaver. Okay, and 2006 they released 7.1, and 2011 they released 7.3. Okay, now the latest is seven point five. The latest is seven point five support pack ten. At present, they are using seven point five retriever. Okay, and support pack ten they are having. So, what are the advantages of retriever? What are the advantages? It enhances the adaptability. But it 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 works on cross integrations like ABAP systems, Java systems, SAP systems, non-SAP systems. Getting data, fetching data from non-SAP systems. The so all it will act as a it will act as a enhancement adapter. Whatever new things comes, it will adapt on immediate basis. Okay, lower cost of ownership. It means If you see the overall cost of Netweaver at the time of implementation only, you have to incur the expenses. Once things get installed properly, then you have to just pay the maintenance cost each year, and you start using SAP as you like. You start using SAP as you like once you install things or 
implement things at your place, which takes one year, two year. At the end, you have to incur huge expenses. But if you see in long run, like once you install, you can use for you can use this for generations. Okay, so you can if you cost the cost is a lower cost of ownership. Now you have to just pay maintenance cost and use the software for the lifetime. And by that you can say we have a better invest on the investment, better return on investment. Okay, and it works on heterogeneous environment. What is this heterogeneous environment? Heterogeneous means it comes when we use different different OSs or different different databases. Okay, if you install in Windows. Windows 2003, Windows 2003 or Linux, and uh, the databases Oracle and this uh, SQL Server, those comes under heterogeneous. Heterogeneous means when you do upgrade, when you do upgrade, if you're in Windows with Oracle and you try to migrate your things to Oracle to uh, Linux to Oracle from Windows to Linux, you change your database. So you change your OS from Windows to Oracle, but database remains same. It means it's a heterogeneous environment, or you can say it's a heterogeneous upgrade. It's a heterogeneous upgrade. Homogeneous means where your OS and DBs or remain same while upgrading. Heterogeneous means either OS or database will get changed entirely in those scenarios. Now you see the architecture of NetWeaver. <laughs> Presentation layer, user interface can be developed in JSP. JSP means Java server pages or BSP, business server pages or in web and pro technology okay what is business layer in this business layer the request passes from icm and dynamically generate the response it means icm is a business layer which accepts the request in the form of http and https and convert them and show the response here there is no gui login to website web, web portals you have a url which comes with https colon host name this Ethereum name colon 8080 or colon 443 is a HTTPS or HTTP you can directly log into the our uh, NetWeaver client okay by this you can order, whenever user is any query when he, if, if you search for user is first the things go to ICM things go to the ICM and ICM receives the request in http and http format and it convert and send answer in user understandable language for netweaver the things uh, the, the process will increase and take more time to fetch or read records inst instead of abap okay netweaver takes a uh, more time and what is integration layer it is integration between webass and xi components Integration means the tight integration. Okay, web as means web as the web web play server and XI. XI means exchange infrastructure components. Okay, and control layer ICM dispatcher user ICM dispatch the user request to presenter layer. It uses protocols like HTTP, HTTPS, SSL, SOAP, or SMTP. These are the layers used by this uh, network system. Okay. Now you see the components of network system. If when you come, when it comes to component of network system, you can say we use SAP Business Warehouse. It's called BIW. Now we have SAP Enterprise Portal. We have SAP Business Intelligence, which is also known as BI okay? and we have exchange infrastructure, okay, and we have SAP knowledge warehouse and we have SAP 
master data management it's a mdm in which you can store data and retrieve data mdm we have a we don't have gui or we don't have a you are login we have a web console through console only we can log into the mdm it's a master data management in which you saved your documents you save your documents okay so you have any doubts in this net viewer section partha partha yeah uh, actually what is webas actually webas means web application server oh okay okay <laughs> see when you use when you click on gui it will connect to your uh, gui and start sap when you click on gui because you configured your things over there but okay. webas there is no gui you have to take url like https colon fqrian colon 443 it will take directly to your uh, gui only okay, okay this is okay. called web this is called web but you can log in to sap through web technology web through technology. Okay. URL, browser URL. just to browser yeah. yeah for those okay. things you know to configure is few things okay so you should okay. configure all those things properly then you can able to access your Uh, SAP through browser also. Okay. Okay. This is what okay. I would like to make you understand for the two years three. Okay. Okay. No problem. Can you show me this in a practical way? How the netweaver uh, will be? What do you want? No, no. How the netweaver looks like? Can you show me what's? Hmm. I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh. Okay. No problem. In our servers, we always used to log in to netweaver only. So I'll take okay. a snap and show it to you. No worry. Okay. 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 And now, if if I uh, I got a job in a company, uh, hmm. whether I should be connecting through netweaver or through the GUI only, I'll be working on. now you connect with both gui also and web url also you will get all ready made urls okay <laughs> you will get all ready made urls so you will get excel sheet for you they will provide you excel sheet in which they will give you all gui information and they will give you all web url information also so sometimes you uh, if you are not able to connect through gui you can able to connect through you are also there no issue with that okay okay 